Okay, hey there, day four, and uh, I hope it goes better than day three, because day three did not go that well. I mean, we solved it, but it took a long time and involved a lot of fumbling, and I would like day four to go uh, much smoother, and so I hope it does. High entropy passphrases. A new system policy has been put in place that requires all accounts to use a passphrase instead of simply a password. Passphrase consists of a series of words, lowercase letters separated by spaces. To ensure security, a valid passphrase must contain no duplicate words. For example, this is valid, this is not valid, this is valid, they count as different words. The system's full passphrase list is available as your puzzle input. How many passphrases are valid? Um, System's full passphrase list is available as your puzzle input. Um, oh, I see. So this is like everyone's passphrase, and we figure out uh, which ones are valid. OK, I, I sort of misunderstood that. Some of these are not worded that helpfully, and so I assume that was like every possible uh, list. So that makes it sound like we want to write an is valid function and run it over. Um, day 4 pass phrase dot pi okay and as always I will copy this into the doc string and I'm sort of paranoid I'm not capturing audio but I think I am so def uh, is valid pass phrase string is a boolean um, and I think we said a, a passphrase is valid if it has no uh, repeated words. And um, so it's separated by spaces. Um, so and let's, just, so let's say words equals passphrase dot split. Okay. Um, so num words is the length of the words, and uh, num distinct words is the length of the set of words, um, and then return num words equals num distinct words. So that's a simple way to do it. We get all the words, and we count how many there are, we count how many are distinct, and we check that that's the same. So let us... Um, well, actually, yes, um, these are good. Assert is valid. We're going to need to do a little bit more work because uh, the inputs need to be split. And I'm debating with myself uh, whether, uh, so, sorry. Not valid is valid. So I want to assert not is valid. A, 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 B. Okay, so um, let's go with the workflow we did yesterday uh, where we will just uh, run day 04 passphrase. All my asserts pass. That's good. Um, and let's say uh, inputs equals. Um, and I'm just going to copy these. And that's a lot, huh? But, uh, you know what? Let me let me save this. That'll be a little bit easier. Save as. Um, you can see how I split things here. Joel Bruce. Uh, what did I call this? Actually, it's not in that directory. It's here. Um, and let's save this as day 4 input dot text. Um, so now if name is main with open day 04 inputs dot text read mode as F, it's probably going to complain, doesn't like F as a variable name, um, pass phrases equals line dot strip. Let's get rid of the new lines for line and F. That's good. And we want to print uh, the number of valid passphrases. Um, so print 
the length. Actually, you know what? Let's just do valid pass phrases equals pp for pp and pass phrases if is valid pp um, print len of valid pass phrases. Okay. So invalid constant. I don't care about invalid constant names. Uh, so let's run it. No such file or directory. Do for input dot text not inputs dot text. So now let's go do that again. 386 of them are valid. Um, so let's Five hundred and twelve uh, out of three d six. So uh, let's see if that works. That's the right answer. Okay, one gold star closer. Did debugging the printer return to day four? For added security, another system policy has been put in place. Now a valid passphrase must contain no two words that are anagrams of each other. That is, a passphrase is invalid if any words letters can be rearranged to form any other word in the passphrase. Um, okay. Um, so let's make a function uh, called isValid2, which is a terrible name, but uh, that's okay. Uh, passphrase string, it returns a bool, and words equals uh, passphrase.split. And now what do we want to do? We want to do, um, again, num words equals length words. And now th there's a trick we can do uh, with anagrams, which is uh, if you sort the letters, then they'll be equal, right? So, um, you know, if I do like bad, if I do sort a bad, uh, sorry, sorted bad, and I do sorted dab, So if I take two strings and sort them there and they're equal, then they're anagrams. If I sort them and they're not equal, they're not anagrams. Um, so one thing I would like to do is I would like to say, instead of doing, you know, uh, let's do the set of words, I could do the set of sorted words. And now the problem with that is, um, well, well, let me show you what the problem with that is, because uh, I happen to know, bad and dab. Uh, if I try and do, you know, sorted W for W in words, like a set comparison, let me get an unhashable type that's list. Um, so basically you can't, uh, you can't make a set of lists because lists are immutable and uh, that means you can't use them. But uh, tuples are immutable. So uh, one thing I could do is like that um, and that would work. So um, num non anagrams equal, or let's do again, uh, non anagrams equals tuple sorted word for word in words, num non anagrams equals len of non anagrams and then we want to return num words equals num non anagrams and let us write our tests uh, okay assert is valid too I feel really guilty about using that as name because it's a terrible name for a function but it is the is valid in part two so um, and you'll note that because things are, uh, we're asserting that things are either true or false. I don't need to assert something equals something. Uh, I just can assert is valid or not is valid to um, this thing. And this is valid, so I'll assert is valid to of these guys. And then I will assert 
uh, is valid two of these guys as well. And then finally, this one is not valid. You know, if we were really committed to this, we would write our own test cases and not just use theirs. Um, but uh, we're not that committed. Uh, valid pass phrases two, and I th let's make sure it's the same. It hasn't changed. You can still get your puzzle input, so it hasn't changed. Valid pass phrases two equals pp for pp and pass phrases if is valid two pp. And then finally, we can print the len of valid pass phrases two. So if I go over to my IPython console and uh, run this, I get 208 of them are valid under this new scheme. So uh, let's try 208 and see if that works. That's the right answer. One gold star closer to the printer. We have completed day four, and day five uh, has not come out yet. So that's all we can do for now. And I'm very happy that that took uh, not much time at all because yesterday took uh, way more time than I wanted it to. Um, so again, uh, thank you uh, for watching. And you know, find me on Twitter at Joel Groose. I don't know why it makes it purple, but um, subscribe on the YouTube, I guess. I'll, I'll, all these are on YouTube. And yeah, thanks. I'll see you next time.